Now, I'll be honest, I don't use my slow cooker very often, but there are some recipes that can only be cooked in your slow cooker. Now, these three recipes might surprise you how fast they are to throw together, and the best part is they taste delicious. Now, I'm curious, before I get started, do you still have a slow cooker or are you completely team Instant Pot? I still have both because I still use both, but I'm curious what you use. All right, everyone. Let's get cooking. Now, the first recipe we're making today is our loaded slow cooker chicken and potato casserole. First, we're gonna spray our slow cooker with nonstick cooking spray. Next, we have four to five russet potatoes. Now, I love to leave the skin on them just because it makes life a lot easier. And then I also like to cut them into about bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna dump about half of these into the bottom of the slow cooker. Next, I chopped up about two pounds of chicken into bite-sized pieces. We try and simplify it, that's how we're doing it. So we're gonna pour all of the chicken onto the potatoes. Now in here, I have some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on right now, and then sprinkle on a little bit and a little bit later. Okay, now we're gonna do halves of things. So we have four things of green onions, so we're gonna do about two onto it about six strips of bacon. So we'll do about half of those onto this. And the recipe calls for two cups of cheese. So we're just gonna do a cup and put it again on the rest of this. Now we're just gonna go through and do the steps again. And last, we have one cup of whipping cream. And you're just going to gently pour that over the cheese. And that's all you have to do with this recipe. So simple, so easy. So we're gonna put the lid on. Now we're gonna cook this on low for about six to eight hours. This is a great one to put in in the morning, then it's ready by dinner. All right, guys, this one is all done. My sister Kendra is coming later to taste test with me, so you'll have to wait till the end to watch that. So right now, we're just gonna move on to the next recipe. The next recipe I'm making is our slow cooker tamale pie. Now I cheated just a little bit and I decided to brown my ground beef before we started, just to make it a little easier. Beef is all ground, grease is drained, and now we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of cumin. So we'll just put that in. Usually I would cook that with it as it's nice and hot and on the stove, but we're just adding it now. Now we're gonna spray the bottom of our slow cooker with some nonstick cooking spray. Then you're just gonna pour the meat right into the bottom of your slow cooker. Now for the easy part, we're gonna just dump everything in. We'll just kind of go for it. So we're gonna have a can of corn. Make sure you drain your corn before you dump it in. We have black beans that are rinsed and drained. 10 ounces of green enchilada sauce. This is the brand I like, old El Paso. We have 10 ounces of diced tomatoes and there are green chilies in this one. You can add the green chili separate, but I just like to do mine together. Tomatoes and chilies makes my life easy. Then we have about two green onions that we chopped up and then just a little bit of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add this, but I love cilantro. Now we're just gonna go ahead and mix this all together and we're good to go for a little while. Now we're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna let it cook on low for about six to eight hours. All right, this has been cooking for a while. Oh man, it looks good. So now we need the yummy part on top of it to make it into our, I guess, tamale. So I have one corn muffin mix we're gonna pour it in. And then I just have two eggs that we're gonna crack in and that's all that we need for this mixture today. Then you're just gonna mix it until everything is well combined. So once it's all combined, it's gonna be like a paste almost. So we're going to carefully try and just spoon it on, spread it out as best that we can. You've tried to spread it out the best you can. We're gonna put the lid on and cook it for another hour. We're gonna keep it on low and then we'll We'll test it with the toothpick to see how it's how it's doing. The tamale, I'm pretty sure has cooked. It's been about an hour. Oh, looks good. 
Okay, looks all cooked, looks good. Now we're gonna add just a little bit of cheese on top and we'll put the lid back on. We want the cheese to melt. We don't have to cook it any longer. We just need melted cheese. It's gonna throw on a little bit. Okay, we're gonna just let this melt for a little bit while we cook the other recipe. Kendra's almost here. And the last recipe I'm making is our bacon wrapped apple barbecue chicken. This one is good. All right, so you're first gonna start with two apples. Now they said to peel them and then to shred them. And so I will cut mine into pieces. You can tell I've already been working a little bit. I will just shred it just like this until there isn't much of the, the middle of the apple left. So this is kind of like our special sauce. We're gonna finish adding to it. So we have about a half a cup of barbecue sauce we're gonna add. And if you know me, you know that I like to eyeball. Then we have juice from one lemon. We'll just pour that right on top. Then we're just gonna mix it all up. For the next step, we're gonna take our cooking spray, spray the bottom just to make life a little easier. Now over here we have our bacon. So we're gonna take a piece of chicken. These are, this is a lot of chicken. And it says to do two pieces of bacon per chicken. So we're gonna try our best to wrap it. And it doesn't have to be a tight wrap. We want a little bit longer bacon too, because it will actually wrap. All right, you can see that, it looks good. We're just gonna put this right into the bottom of the slow cooker. We have to fit four in here, so we're kinda gonna push it to the side. Now we're gonna take our apple barbecue sauce and just pour it onto the bacon wrapped chicken. Okay, then you're just gonna spread it around just so all the bacon is covered. All right guys, that's it. That's all you have to do, super easy. Now we're gonna just grab our slow cooker lid and we're gonna cook this for six to eight hours on low. All right, everyone, Kendra is here. I made it. <laughs> These are the recipes. They we're gonna good. see which one you like best. They smell good. Yes. Let's remove the lids. Look how fancy. Okay, we're gonna plate these up and taste them. Okay, the first one we made was the, the chicken potatoes. It looks good. Let's try it, okay. shall we? Oh, that's good. That's got a lot of flavor. It does. Mm. And the cheese on top is perfectly melted. That's and good. And the chicken is is not like overdone, I yeah. like it. All right, if you could rate this one, what would you rate it out of five? 4.8. 4.8, I like it. I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Okay, next one. Okay, this is our tamale. Like that looks good. I know I'm excited. I love cornbread. So do I. <laughs> it has the beef and the cheese and the beans and the heaven. Five out of five. Definitely five <laughs> out of five. That one was good. I don't even think about it, you don't even have to ask nope, me. Five nope. out of five. Last, Last one. one. I'm gonna like this one because it's bacon. Bacon wrapped <laughs> chicken. Oh, nope. that's good. That's a five out of five. I like how too. that cooks the bacon. Mm hmm. Okay. Five out of five. Five out of five. <laughs> now, if you want more slow cooker recipes, you can find them just right up there. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.